very, very shortly. So let's fight this bitch. For the last time, because I don't need to fight him ever again after this point. In fact, I only have to fight him once. I don't, the only reason why I'm fighting him a second, or fought him a second time, is because of the fact that you get the, uh, you get, fuck, what is it called? Uh, you, you get the, uh, final attack materia out of it. So let's go on and pull out High Wind. Now, y'all are gonna see me just sit here for a few seconds, actually for like a minute or so. Uh, it's mainly just so that way I can show off the boss's other attacks. You got this punch, then you've got the chest attack, which does a lot of damage. Then you got another fucking punch. It. I wanted to show off a specific one of its attacks. Okay, we got Need Fire, that's a new attack. It's like Need Lind only with Fire Base instead of Ice. And this is the one I was waiting for, the Materia Jammer. If whoever it's used on has Materia, they will no longer be able to use Materia until the effects wear off. So, yeah. Just to show off the uh, W item, what you gotta do is use one item, then when you go to use the second item, like you hit X twice, or you hit X twice to, like on the ether, you hit X twice to choose the target for the first ether, and then you hit X once, then hit back, and that'll add another one. So you can just rapidly hit X and O to build up a huge counter of. Uh, a huge count of any item you want that can be used in battle and not through throw. In other words, battle items, damn it. This is why I was saying uh, really it's more worth it to wait until you get to disc 3 when you have the W item because Getting Silk Greens is a hell of a lot easier to do it this way. In fact, now that I have 99 Silk Greens, I'm going to be giving them, I'm going to be giving 50 of them to my Golden Chocobo. I think the maximum you can give to a Chocobo and still get stats from it is 30 or 25 or something like that. But either way, I'm gonna give 50 of them to my Golden Chocobo, go buy one more, and yeah. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff that leveled. <laughs> and for beating this boss fight, we get the Ragnarok. It's another one of Cloud's weapons, but it is useless to me. By the way, I figured out what Cloud's weapon powers up to. It powers up whenever Cloud's health is critical. I had to uh, look it up. Like I, I got a list of the uh, materials and stuff, so it, it tells you what conditions have to be met for ultimate weapons to be powered up and do more damage. And some ultimate weapons actually do max damage anyways. So that's nothing to heavily worry about. So only one thing mastered in that fight. So well, Ugh, might as well work on some command materia now. Now some of y'all are probably wondering about the enemy skill materia. I'm only going to go through the trouble of mastering one enemy skill materia, because quite frankly, I'm not going to be using it in disc 3 at all except for getting enemy skills. That's it. That's all that I'm going to use it for. Treasure! Always go for the shiny. 
uh, that other item I picked up was a piece of armor. No effects, it's just basically better than what I've got equipped now. So we'll go on and show off Rag. And that other piece of armor. Yeah. In other words, not really my thing. And new enemy that I forgot to pull up the select thing, so I missed its name. Anyways, after you beat the boss, get Barrett into your party. You have to have him into your party in order for him to get, or in order for this item to appear. Otherwise, it won't be there. And now I can actually show off this enemy's name, so every time I run into him now, I'll just be editing it out. The Gross Panzer Big. I've never seen a Gross Panzer Small. We'll talk to you later, Vincent. You know you're all emo and stuff. Ooh, new enemies. Soldier, first class. So, if you've got Barrett in your party, the missing source will appear here. This is Barrett's ultimate weapon. It powers up depending on how much AP you have in the materia. So if you got a fuck ton of mastered materia, just straight up master, not mastered, not uh, the master materia, but just straight up 100% mastered, like six nights of the round table mastered materias you will uh, have a extremely strong weapon because that is actually a lot of uh, AP actually I think there's a limit on how much AP can be equipped to the missing source but uh, I don't use Barret so it don't really matter uh, yeah out we go I actually completely forgot to go to this section, but luckily we can backtrack. So, back this way. We need to go back to the Shinra headquarters. I told you way back in disc one, we'll be back for it. Y'all just didn't believe me. Well, now who's the fools? And immediately into a battle, absolutely. <laughs> Fail. So, Tifa, get up off your bitch ass and go make me a sandwich. What? Eris made me a sandwich. Why won't you? Well, then again, I guess I can understand your point, Tifa. Eris kinda died, so... You know what? No, don't make me a sandwich. Anyways, we come this way, go up the ladder and into here, and we end up back at Shinra Headquarters. Where we meet up with Dickhead and he says, <laughs> he called us Sister Ray. Actually, I'm pretty sure he didn't call us Sister Ray, but I choose to believe he called us Sister Ray. Um, some of you viewers have been probably wondering if I'm going to do the Halo series in its entirety. To that, I'll say most likely yes, considering I'm starting off with Halo Reach, which is the prequel. And indeed, when I get to the uh, Devil May Cry series, I'm going to start off with Devil May Cry 3, since it's the prequel, and therefore the storyline comes first. But, uh, more importantly, the only, one that, the only ones that I'm going to do on Legendary mode are going to be the ones that don't send me back to the beginning of the freaking 
or to the beginning of the fucking level if I die during Legendary. Indeed, viewers, if you do Legendary for either uh, Halo or Halo 2, if you die during the mission, you will be sent all the way back to the beginning of that mission. So, uh, we've got a few items we need to pick up, and right there I was just making sure that I only had three things that I had to do left in here. First thing would be on this floor, you see a bag, of, you see an item over there. Let's go get it. What is this, you may be asking? The Glow Lance. It is a slightly stronger weapon for Sid. Nothing else in here. So let's head upstairs to the gym, where we can go bang on that machine without being bitched at. Hey, give me back my fucking money. Bang on it. Give me my money back. Or a mind and speed source, that'll work too. Yes, if you do not spend the 200 gil and bang on it earlier in disc 1, when I told you to, you will not get that speed and mind source. Now then, one last thing to get, the HP Spout. This is Kate Sith's ultimate weapon. I don't remember specifically what it powers up with, but... It don't really fucking matter, since even if I was going to use other party members, that other party member would not be Kate Sith. I hate him that fucking much, and I think... Oh my god, I think Squaresoft, which is actually Square Enix now, that they did not have a area where he was forced into my party. Technically, that's not true, but that area was so fucking short, it didn't matter anyways. So, now that we've got that, let's head on back. I should have actually just edited out the running back, because, uh, yeah, that's just five minutes of wasted time. I'll put this down. I'm not playing with my sword. That's what she... Well, actually, correction, that's what he said. Oh, I took the joy away from you, viewers. And more battles. Edit. So, yeah. Uh, beyond this, the Halo Reach Let's Play will be... won't actually be all that long. You've got... I think 10 miss missions or so. Each one's only about like 15 minutes to an hour long. Then there will be showing off the extra stuff like Forge, all the maps, except for the ones in the Anniversary Edition because I don't have those yet. Uh, let's see, Firefights, and yeah. Once I get back to or once I do the Halo Reach Let's Play, I will be getting back to doing the Rage Armor Originals. I figured might as well use an elixir, because... <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, not... Uh, Muhammad Zero's gonna level. Nice. Now, there's a big reason why I want to put Mime on uh, Cloud. And I'll... Sh We'll see in just a few minutes when I actually go through the trouble of swapping mine onto Cloud. But more importantly, we've got a new enemy. And what is this enemy, you may be asking? It is the Maximum Chimera. So let's go on and grease lightning this grease ball. Hey asshole, I'm gonna make tenderloins out of you. And it's dead. Alright. Now that that's all now all that fun stuff is taken care of. Damn, I've been playing this like I've had oh 